Hey everybody, it's Kristen here, and today I'm walking you through hosting H5P content on your own. H5P is an amazing open source tool set of e-learning content types. You can easily create things like interactive video, before and after sliders, sequence sliders, and a whole lot more. If you're a newbie ID or an ID trying to do side projects without spending a ton of money, or an ID in an organization looking to expand their tool set, then H5P is definitely worth exploring. If you want to learn more about what H5P is and what it can do, I recommend checking out the interview with founder Svein Torda on the Dear Instructional Designer Show. I'll make sure to put a link to the episode in the notes section of the video. If you aren't hosting your content in one of the learning or content management systems that H5P currently has plugins for, Moodle, WordPress, and Drupal, then for right now, you'll need to create your content on h5p.org. Now you can easily embed the content you create on any kind of website using embed code just like what you might copy and paste from a YouTube video. But there are various reasons why you might not want this content actually hosted on h5p.org. For example, you might be using videos that you want to keep internal, or you might be worried about intellectual property concerns. You might want to hook up this content to an LRS so that you can send and receive XAPI statements. And then again, you might just want more control over where your content is. If any of those are concerns, there is a way that you can download your content and host it yourself. Let's see how. First, I want to reiterate that the only way to create H5P content right now, if you aren't using one of their currently supported systems, is to use h5p.org. From there, your next step is to download the content. It'll download as an h5p file. This file is really just an archive file. It keeps many different files contained together. So if you change the file type to .zip to make it a zip file, you can unzip it and see the contents. What you'll see is that it's a bunch of JavaScript and other files for the content, but there's no HTML files. There's no way to really serve this up right now on a web server and have it actually act the way you want. Well, there is a project called H5P Standalone Project that will help you to accomplish this. Now, one caveat here, the project is kinda old. As of the time of this video, it was last updated in January of 2017 but it is still working with H5P content, so we'll roll with it. You wanna download it from GitHub. I'll make sure the link to the project is below the video. Then you'll unzip the project. Your next step is to take that H5P content you downloaded earlier and paste it in the workspace folder. I like to change the name of the project folder to something succinct and memorable and separate with hyphens. Then you'll open up the index.html file in the demo folder in a text editor. I use the open source text editor Atom, but you might use Sublime or any plain text editor you choose. The only thing we need to edit is the H5P content property to make sure that it's pointing to the right directory to get the files it needs. So I'll change that and save. Now to test this, you'll need to be running a web server. If you have easy access to the place where you normally serve your files, it might be Amazon S3, or it might be FTPing into where your website is hosted, then you can just copy this entire folder, that is the entire H5P standalone folder, to there. I'm actually going to run a simple command on the command line to show you that this works. To be clear, you don't have to do this part. 
If you copy your files to wherever you normally host your e-learning files and HTML files, then you can see this working. The important thing is that you won't be able to just double click on the index.html file and let it open in your browser and see it. It won't work like that. So I'm going to run this command and voila, you can see that I have an interactive video here on my simple server outside of h5p.org. And it's that simple. So the steps are, one, create your content on h5p.org. Step two, download your content. Step three, download the H5P standalone project from GitHub. Step four, unzip your H5P content in the workspace folder of the standalone project. Step five, edit the index.html file to point to the correct folder. And step six, put your files on a server to see them working. Bonus time. I can hear you asking, what if I have multiple H5P content that I want to host in a project? Well, that's pretty simple too. Let's take a look. The thing to do is to duplicate the index.html file. We'll give it a different name and we'll point that H5P content property to the right folder again. So now, when I put my files on a server, I can change the URL to this new HTML file and you'll see that it works. I have multiple H5P contents in the same standalone project download. I hope this was helpful and I'd love to read your comments below the video.